Hey, hey artists, welcome to another tutorial. Today I am gonna be showing you how I painted this horse eye. Now, if you're painting a portrait of a horse, it is gonna be so important that you get that eye right. It makes such a big difference. So that's what we're gonna be learning today. Now, if you're craving more help and want the full real-time tutorial complete with my voice walking you through every single moment, paint mixing recipes, reference photos, and more, I think you will love the Wildlife Painting Academy. New tutorials are added each month, and it truly is your secret weapon for learning how to paint realistic wildlife easily. You can check it out in the description of this video. So as usual, I'm painting with oil paint, but you can get the same effect with acrylics, though I highly recommend working with a slow drying medium. I worked exclusively with acrylics for years, and that slow drying medium is a total game changer. So like usual, I always start off by mapping out those darkest parts of the painting first. It just really helps to ground the painting and gives you a nice sort of map to work from. And it's gonna eliminate any contrast issues that you have down the road. So I'm just using black here, going in with a big brush and just basically blocking in those darkest parts. So this horse's eye that I'm painting here belongs to a horse that has nice dark fur. So it's pretty much a black. So that's why I'm going in with really dark grays here. And what I love about this is we're gonna be going with a sort of beautiful amber colored eye. And because so much of this painting is gonna be really dark, we've got that really dark background and it's gonna be on a black horse. It's gonna make that eye pop and I love the way that looks. So first I'm going in still with my big brushes here and I'm starting to lay down those really dark gray tones to start to build up that black fur. Slowly adding a little bit more white to my paint here too. We're still working with really dark grays, but because the rest of our painting here is so dark, even adding a little bit of white here is going to make this paint a lot brighter. So we're gonna start to be able to build up that form of our horse. Horses have these gorgeous eyelashes, which are obviously gonna be a really important part here. So I'm just carefully stroking in these eyelashes here, just using long sweeping strokes to get those nice long flowing lines. So now it's time to actually start working on the eye. I'm starting with my darkest paint here. So I'm using a really beautiful dark rusty brown and I wanna go with are just a really gorgeous, almost sunlit sort of eye. So I'm gonna go with really saturated colors here. I'm using a lot of burnt umber and burnt sienna because they're just two of my favorite colors to work with and they're gonna add so much life and vibrance here. So I'm starting off by blocking out where those major shadows and darker tones are gonna to go first. going in and adding a bit more titanium white to my paint here to make it brighter, a little more opaque. And I'm going to start to build up where the light is going to be cast inside this eye and start to build up that luminous quality that we're going for. So I set my painting aside for a few days, my underpainting was complete, and I wanted to make sure that I had a dry layer to work off to start to build up that texture and detail. So I put it aside for a few days until it's completely dry, and now I'm going in and I'm starting to build up that texture and detail I want. So I'm making small strokes with my brush here to start to build up a bit of fur texture, and then we're gonna be going in and adding some texture and detail to the eye as well.
When I'm building up fur detail and texture like this, I like to start with my darkest paint first, and then I start adding more white and other colors to it to start to build it up more naturally and more slowly. And I find that this just gives it a really beautiful, realistic look without making your life too difficult. I switched up my brush to something a lot smaller. I've got a nice fine round brush here and I'm just adding a couple more tight details. It's kind of adding a couple of backlit hairs wherever they need, you know, a little more definition. I'm just kind of adding some details wherever I think it's necessary. So now on to that eye. I'm gonna start by basically doing the same thing I was just doing with the fur. I'm using my brushes to start to build up a bit of texture, first with dark paint, and then I'm gonna use some light paint. So I added a bit of white to basically a mixture of burnt umber and burnt sienna here and kind of stroking in some brush strokes here to give it a little bit of definition. And then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. So I grabbed that little baby detailing brush again, and I'm starting off with some dark, kind of dabbing my brush around, wiggling it, adding some interesting textures just to make sure it's not super uniform. And then I'm also gonna be doing the same thing with my lighter paint as well. I wanted there to be a little hint of the mane that's kind of crossing over the face. So I'm just going in with some black here and that same detailing brush and doing some long, nice strokes to show that there's a couple strands of the mane that's actually falling over the face. So now it's time for some glaze. I know we're painting a black horse here, but I still want there to be some color involved. So up until this point on that fur, I haven't really used anything other than black and white paint. So it's very grayscale, but that doesn't look very realistic. So I'm going in with a brownish glaze here to just kind of add a little kiss of color to things. And that's gonna go really far to be able to add a lot of realism. And I really wanted to dial up the saturation on that iris. So I'm going in with a beautiful glaze here that I made mostly with burnt sienna. It's a gorgeous transparent color for glazing. And I'm applying a nice layer there to just really boost that saturation. And finally, it's time to add my highlight. Going in and slowly kind of building it up to make sure that it doesn't look too dramatic. Instead, I want it to look nice and natural and realistic. and we're done thank you so much for watching this tutorial on how to paint a horse eye now if you have any suggestions for tutorials that you want to see maybe it's your favorite animal or a different part of an animal that you're struggling with leave me a comment and i will add it to the list if you liked what you saw here please hit that big beautiful subscribe button it makes such a difference in getting these tutorials to more artists that need them 
And if you want to improve your animal art, then you're definitely going to want to check out my free guide, Five Tips for Improving Your Animal Art. You can grab that free guide in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.